Hello everyone, welcome you all for the data generalization error uh, here the objective function is going to be written uh, with respect to calculating loss for all the data available in the true data distribution the total loss is called here true risk uh, the drawback of the uh, true data distribution is the count of the number of samples available in the data set is unknown priorly that is one of the drawback in the true data distribution the cost objective function is defined for the true data distribution is uh, here uh, j of theta equal to e of x comma y uh, uh, x is the number of features in the data set and y is target output with respect to true data distribution the loss is calculated for each and every sample this is the predicted output and this is actual output so we will find the difference between predicted output and actual output for each and every sample then finally we will calculate the total loss so that is the true data distribution and the true data risk to minimize the true data risk we are going to uh, use uh, the entire data set from the true data rather than with finite number of samples in the training data set so here to minimize the data I mean cost function with respect to true data distribution the star is denoting the uh, minimization uh, minimizing the uh uh, minimizing the function value with respect to expected loss the loss between the predicted output and the actual output so this is somewhat difficult because we are unknown about the number of samples in the data set so we can uh, make this uh, expectation loss or risk in, uh, approximated into the finite number of samples in the training data set so instead of unknown data set we will take number of samples finite number of samples m for the training data set because the machine learning models and uh, uh, deep learning models will use training data set with m number of samples so here the machine learning algorithm can reduce the error by applying the optimization uh, with training data set so we are going to transform the given problem statement into optimization problem to minimize the expected loss based upon the training data set that means here we are going to replace the unknown data set uh, that is called true data distribution with empirical data set that is called m number of samples in the a training data set so here it can be represented by using the pictorial representation the parameterization is using in the uh, uh, empirical risk but here the statistical risk is uh, using the true data distribution which is learning from the given uh, model or function so here the true data distribution is given with respect to some number of uh, i mean uh, unknown data set unknown count of samples here each sample is having the uh, tar uh, target target output and here the sample is given to function some objective function which is finding the predicted values then finally we are going to calculate the loss for each and every sample i then total loss is calculated here and trying to minimize the error with respect to some function but it is difficult because the number of samples in the true data is unknown so instead of that we are going to uh, replace this uh, general risk minimization with empirical risk minimization here the empirical risk minimization is going to have some set of samples that is the finite number of samples m so here this is the minimization function for um, statistical risk or true risk which is uh, approximately uh, correlated into the uh, uh, empirical risk so empirical risk is having finite number of samples first we are calculating the loss for each and every sample and sum of that loss total loss and taking the average so the objective functions in the uh, true risk and uh, empirical risk is close so like that the optimal values also may be close to that close uh, of uh, close between the empirical risk and a uh, statistical risk so uh, even though uh, even though there is on criteria statistical minimization need not to be 
close always to the empirical risk minimization because the m number of samples may be uh, minimum than uh, true data distribution okay so true data distribution is infinity size but the finite size is m number of samples so it is giving a very specific uh, value so the empirical risk minimization solution is uh, very trivial so because of the uh, m number of samples there is the possibility of predicted value uh, equal to the all target values of all the samples in the training data set that means if all the samples are perfectly classified then there is the possibility of high accuracy in the uh, testing uh, i mean training data set high accuracy in the training data set but low error in the uh, uh, training uh, data set so it will be training error will be less but when you are uh, giving the testing samples there is the possibility of high infer high error okay the for the testing error uh, for testing samples there is the possibility of high error because there is no information about the testing samples in the given model so this is uh, one of the issue in the empirical risk minimization due to that uh, right uh, there is the possibility of overfitting first we will see the pictorial representation of the empirical risk minimization the parameters are learned to re reduce the uh, cost value here adjust the parameters the statistical risk is replaced by empirical risk so here instead of true data set we are going to take the training data set with the m number of samples so uh, for all the m number of samples we are cal calculating the predicted uh, output then this is taking uh, yes here uh, average of that uh, m number of samples so this is giving you approximate uh, value close to the uh, the true risk value so here uh, uh, so we are using m number of samples in the training data set in the empirical uh, risk minimization due to that there is the possibility of overfitting in the uh, empirical risk minimization because when you are using the m number of samples there is the possibility of learning every feature value uh, in the given training data set that is memorizing the training data set by the model so due to that you will get uh, training error will be less here this is the training error and uh, there is the possibility of uh, uh, high error in the uh, testing data set so there is the possibility of uh, high variance between the uh, training error and the testing error due to that overfitting is possible and another one issue is in the uh, empirical risk we cannot calculate the uh, gradients uh, uh, by applying the partial differentiation so due to that we cannot use gradient 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 based optimization algorithms in the uh, empirical uh, risk minimization so these challenges are a very uh, 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 cannot be solved by the empirical risk minimization that's why we cannot use the uh, empirical risk uh, minimization approach for the uh, classification problems or machine uh, i mean uh, regression problems so uh, we have to go for a different approach which is using the quantity right so uh, in that uh, last function if it is using the quantity then we can go for we can optimize the cost function even which is giving a different value uh than the expected accuracy value suppose my accuracy is expected accuracy is 90 percentage means even though which is giving uh, 75 percentage by uh, quantity uh, based approaches then I, um, uh, even though i can select this kind of approach uh, uh, than the empirical risk minimization because which is better than empirical risk minimization to optimize to optimize because gradients can be calculated by using that quantity based approaches thanks for watching